Die Menschen waren. Mm -hmm. Hello, is anybody home today? Hi, hi, welcome to the office of Love and Light, where I clearly went to the gym this morning and never bothered to dress myself. <laughs> But something exciting is going on tonight, and I'm going out to eat, and I just wanted to show you the dressing I'll be bringing. Now, if you didn't want to be completely obnoxious and bring this little um, small pint size, you could pack it in a half pint and bring it along. But I was just um, talking this morning about how easy making a dressing can be if you have these four components on hand in your little pantry, okay? So let me show you right here. I've got this, which is like a creamy um garlic herb dressing do you see this this whole dressing right here has about 180 calories for fat okay i don't know how, how much dressing you need but that's a lot of dressing and that is very low fat well you could have for conventional you know poisonous dressing toxic laden chemical toys that we pretend as food you could have about i don't know a tablespoon right so anyway, um, I want to show you this, but this is the dressing I'm taking tonight. This tastes like, um, not taste, it tastes like a little um, over the top Thousand Islands, what it tastes like. Do y'all see how beautiful this is? And I've recently just learned instead of, oh, it's not time for music. Instead of um, going to dinner at six, I can't go till eight, which is past my eating time. And breathe tanya breathe we're going to come back and we're going to talk about your plan your forever plan your always your sometimes and your never because you've conquered those nevers and you're not going back there right so anyway all my sometimes might be okay so now that i knew that earlier i made my first meal of the day a little bit later because i do like to implement intermittent fasting and I really like to keep my food within a six hour window, but maximum eight hour window. So therefore, when that meal's at eight o'clock, I had to kind of shimmy my food on down, which is fine. But see, that's what I would consider my sometimes, or maybe I was, um, it just very little tweaks for me now. Where what is your always, your rock solid base, you know, your sometimes and your never, which is another chat. Stay on track, Tanny Wrong. So anyway, I want to show you this. First of all, can you lick your lips for these black creme tomato? Oh my gosh. So we're going to have a little taste test, clearly. But I want to show you something. If you have these components, and I can tell you how to switch this up a little bit because somebody's going to say, I don't like apple cider vinegar with the mother. Okay, so we'll talk about that. But let's just look at this. If you have these things in your cabinet, you could have made up these two totally different tasting dressings easy like that with and you can bulk them up with whatever veggie you have in the fridge okay so let's look at this we're going to need an acidic a fatty a salty and a sweet to give it a well-rounded flavor now a lot of times if you're a person that likes a more savory dressing you can mix the sweet in there or basically you're just trying to even like shimmy down your calories a little bit you can mix that down let me talk about this too about um it is a low fat raw vegan diet, the only way you can lose weight. It is a, it's a paleo diet, the only way you can lose weight. It's a whole food plant based diet or whole foods diet, including milk and, and, uh, and uh, eggs. The, uh, can you lose weight like that? Here's the thing. When you create a calorie deficit in your body, you can lose weight. But here's the question at hand. Will you have longevity with that? Will you be able to have sustainability because you're getting lots of food, volume, and mainly lots of nutrients? Are you building your body? Are you breaking it down? So that's something to think about. So on that realm, when you're looking at, you know, you, you want to have, um, Hidden Valley Ranch, for example. Okay, well, we have a chemical, a low-grade chemical addiction, addiction to the toxins in food, right? So when you get off that, your flavor, the flavor you're bringing into your mouth will start to be 
the actual flavor. Like I can put different kind of lettuces in my mouth and taste the difference. So let's look at this, okay? So in this scenario, in my cabinet, I have this, which is raw apple cider vinegar, okay? Then these are gold flax seeds, raw, whole, okay? Which I would grind before using. You also want to buy those not pre-ground because they become rancid and lose nutrients the minute you start, um, you grind those. So you want to do it right before. Okay, then these are just some dates. Okay, it's kind of hard to see, isn't it? And then these are dulse leaves, which is a type of seaweed that can get you off the salt, but give you the sodium balance you need in minerals, baby, and iodine. Great for the thyroid, great for hormone balance. So anyway, what you would do with that, okay, let's say you want to make this dressing right here. You're going to bulk up or give more volume to the dressing, thus stretching out the dressing into a large volume without a lot of fat, though a lot of satisfying flavor, right? So what you would do is, let's say with this one, I had some tomatoes and I had some red bell peppers and little orange bell peppers. So I gave the dressing volume with that, say a cup or cup and a half. With this one, my base was celery. It was about a cup and a half, okay? So you're going to put that into your blender. Then you're going to start out with your acid. Always put your more liquid ingredients in the bottom first. So with this, I would start out with about a fourth of a cup of this apple cider vinegar. If you don't want to use that, you could have whole lemons on hand. You could peel the lemon, cut it in half, flick out the seeds. If you use lemon juice, you could put lemon juice in the bottom. The acidic is going to depend on how much of that kind of like vinaigrette type flavor you like, okay? Then you can add in your dates or your sweet. If you don't want to use dates, you could use unsulfurized, dried, sun-dried apricots. You could use raisins, golden raisins. You could use um, acai berries. You could use a little bit of um, orange. Blood orange is good, that kind of thing, but it's an acidic, you see? So you're gonna, um, oh, I'm sorry. It's a sweet, you see? So I'll tell you something. If you're going to use oranges as that, or even like, you can also use tomato as that kind of flavor punch. It has like that sweet savory. But anyway, using the dried fruit, um, or so dried, um, a dried component, only use as much as you need in there. So add maybe one or two, and then you can add as you go, okay? So then we've got our sweet. Then we've got um, our salty. Now, if you use a celery as the base, that is salty, okay? But also, these are really good. You can add about two tablespoons of these dulse leaves. My favorite ones are from the Iceland brand. You can find those on Vitacost and also Amazon. Um, or you can also use wakame seaweed. So you add your salty in there and then you add your fatty. Now I would grind these prior. If you've got a Vitamix or a super high speed blender, you don't have to grind ahead, but you don't want to leave this, the flax seeds whole in there because they're not digestible by the body and yours pass this through, thus losing nutrients. And we want those omega-3 fatty acids, okay? So I did about um, two and a half tablespoons of these. It doesn't take much. If you don't like these or you have some kind of aversion to those, you could use raw hulled hemp seed hearts, which are good. And I would do about three tablespoons of those. If you don't like that, then in your cabinet, you could have a no salt, no oil, raw nut butter. So the point is this, you're bulking it up. And if you have these four flavor components in your cabinet, you put the four flavor components in your blender. You bulk it up with something. Add a little water if you need, make a dressing. A slamming good dressing every time. And here's the thing, um, you can bulk it up with carrots, red bell pepper, yellow bell pepper, orange, tomato. Um, you could do a little sun-dried tomatoes in there. You could do zucchini. I would peel those first to get a creamy base. You can do mushroom. You can do squash. You can do um, butternut squash. Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Is anybody home? Hey, y'all. You know what, somebody's telling me that they, they were raw and then they fell off the bandwagon and then they're vegan. You know, when you give yourself too many choices, 
the the noise becomes clat um, the world becomes clattery and noisy. You know what I mean? It's so hot in this house. My air condition is out, and it's been like cold, hot, cold, hot. And I don't know what's going on, but it's very humid in here. Um, anyway, so the point is this. The less choices you give yourself, the better. And you may think to yourself, well, that's just like very restrictive, Tanya. No, it's not. It's very freeing. Because you know you're going to feel good. You know you're going to have energy. You, you know you're going to fit in your clothes. You know you're going to be able to manifest other things in your life besides just managing the noise of what you're eating. You know, there's a lot of people eating a vegan diet that's basically like a, a diet of junk food, you know, and what that's showing the world is that it's, it's really no better than a standard American diet. We understand it's better because no suffering is having to go on, right? No one's having to die to fill my belly, which sounds ridiculous to even think that's a thing. People still do. But people are on a different point in their journey. And you're on a different point in yours. And the thing is, they don't need to understand you. It's not their journey. It's yours. But what is your responsibility is taking back responsibility for what you're doing for your own health. You realize that if you ate, I don't know, vegan marshmallows all day and vegan chips and vegan hot dogs and processed vegan ketchup and the whiter the bread, the sooner you're dead, hot doggy buns, you know what you did, you know? And, and then people want to say, well, that vegan diet didn't work for me. No, your junk food diet didn't work for you. You know, and people want to say, well, that raw diet didn't work for me. Well, I don't know. Were you living off Datorade and that's all you ever ate? And you didn't look any further to, in the, to the fact of how you need to get in your essential fatty acids, how you need to balance your omega-3 to omega-6 ratio, how much fat you need. Are you getting your minerals? Are you getting your greens? You know, are, are you getting enough calories to support and maintain the weight? want to be or are you creating a slight deficit though not too much as to slow your metabolism down but a slight deficit of giving yourself the calories to support the weight you want to be and not the weight you are are you having body movement are you eliminating you know are you living under extreme stress and blaming it on your diet though somebody's jacking up your jaw four times a day and you don't understand why you've got a cortisol um, derived belly you know what I mean all these things matter. Are you sleep deprived? Are you shooting up drugs? And you want to say it's your raw vegan diet? No, it's not. It's the lack of the, it's the lack of taking the time to expand your knowledge, to understand how to make it work instead of how to make excuses. You know what I mean? But it's so easy. We as a society and we as a people and I as a person, we are driven around a lot of times by fear-based mentality. Why is it a lot of times that we procrastinate? Why do we put it off? Why do we not try? Why do we not want to hear about somebody creating success in their life? Because we don't want to bother to take the time to make the changes in our life because it's not really difficult. It's just different. And in the middle, it's messy. And that's when we give up before we get to the beautiful. You know, it's fear-based mentality when you think, well, you know, I just, I have no willpower. I, I don't come from a family who supports me. I don't have the money to eat raw. I live on a shoestring budget. I've been doing this a long time. Okay. Make it happen or make excuses. We as a people love to wait on somebody to come save us, right? Nobody's coming. People don't typically care if you eat healthy because they don't even want to do that themselves. You know what I mean? They don't want to change. And when you start to change, they don't even want to hear that because you're shining bright light in their dark corner. And that hurts their little eyes, right? But the thing is, when we're driven around by fear-based mentality, when we think about changing, it's a lot easier to say, well, you know, I just, I'm not one of those people that has the willpower to do that. I, I'm not that person. I just don't have, um, 
I don't have the time. We all have the same amount of hours. Um, you know, the thing is, though, when we put it off on anything else, it gets us off the hook. And if you're not even trying, you have no chance for failure. You know? And if you think that you're going to be perfect when you begin your new situation, when you begin your new whatever, your expansion of yourself, that's a lie. Because we fail our way to success, we trip our way to the top of the mountain, so to speak, right? It's as easy as this. Because you got a good dressing, I could take this dressing and I could take a couple of pounds of broccoli and a pound of mushrooms and I could blend it in a blender. I could throw in about half of this and I've all of a sudden got a decadent soup that's warm to touch though raw. I've got a salad on the side. I'm eating all the food, feeding all the pans. And more so than that, feeling all the feels and not money. Feeling all the feels, the feel goods, the feel bad, up and down, ebb and flow, right? Not having to feel like we have to dope ourselves down because we just can't deal with it. I can't deal with that. I can't worry about my diet because I got such and such. You're either going to worry about it now or you're going to worry about it later when you have a health crisis. Because Uncle Bobby Joe had a heart attack last week and everybody stood around his casket saying, well, you know, two weeks ago it was fine. No, it wasn't. Bobby had been developing heart disease for two decades, strategically. You know? What is it you want? Start right here. Acid, fatty, sweet, salty, dressing. Right. Well, Tanya, I don't have time to learn all these new things. I don't have time to, okay. I, I don't have a high speed blender. All right. I don't have a spiralizer. I don't have a food processor. I don't, you know what you need? You need a knife and a, and a paper plate. That's what you need. You know, I, I could eat a pound of greens, rinse them off. I could eat some tomatoes that I buy into. I could squeeze some lemon on that. I could have a couple of tablespoons of almond butter on that. Um, I could have a little seaweed for salty right there. I didn't even need to dirty a knife. and the paper plate I throw away. I can do this lifestyle anytime, anywhere, around anybody. Every dang day. I don't need approval. I don't need special accommodations. I need nothing but me showing up with this. Here I am, making it happen versus making excuses. Are you getting up before the world so you can make a plan of what you want? Or are you constantly playing catch up? Are you, I'm looking to see if I'm covering the microphone. Somebody said I was doing that. Are you waking up after you hit snooze, hit snooze, hit snooze, and then you're playing catch up all day? And you are in a reactive mode instead of proactive? Are you getting up before the world? Join me in the five o'clock club where I've already been up a dang hour. Because that's where magic happens. You know what magic happens? Me manifesting the ideas of what I will move forward with every day. I say to myself, here's what I want. No one will stop me. Get up and get your thoughts straight. Get up and decide well, what is it you're going to eat in the day. What is your plan? Then, when it gets noisy, when, it, when things are happening, when things are in your inbox, you know, because they always are, because you're alive, all you have to do is this, breathe, move into action of your plan. Moving into action 
This is what you've said you were going to do. Why do we do the things we don't intend to do, but we don't do the things we set out to do? Because we're not thinking from our prefrontal cortex. We are driven around by our old identity, by our old who we think we are, by our old patterns, by our subconscious thinking. Breathe. Breathe in for four, hold for four, and breathe out for four. A deep breath. And you will feel a slight euphoria. You will feel a difference in your physiology, in your physical state. In those moments, do not wait. Do not procrastinate. Move forward with your plan. So this world can quit stealing you, telling you what you are, telling you to sit down and shut up when you want to get up and stand up for what you want to be. You know where it starts? It starts right here. One good dressing, one good plan. One paper plate. You know, what do y'all think about that? Shall we have a taste test? Is anybody home? Hi, Mickey. How are you, beautiful? Have I ever had stretch marks? Yes, I have. You know, I used to weigh uh, quite a lot. And, um, and I had a lot of stretch marks. They were all like, look, they, they did this. They looked like somebody had gripped me right here and gripped around like, like, and they went like this. And guess what? Now they're gone. There's a vague, very vague two stretch marks right here. Not much though, and you can't feel them. And they used to be like a rippled, okay? And I feel like a high nutrient plant-based, raw diet, fresh, whole, ripe, raw fruits and vegetables with an emphasis on grains and a low though adequate amount of raw plant fat every day, hydration, body movement, positive thoughts every day. Balancing your fat. How much omega-3 are you getting? How much omega-6 are you getting? I have a video on that. How much fat and what kind of fat? Type it in on my search bar, it should come up. I have several talks on that. They will explain exactly. I even map it out for you and I hold it up. You can screenshot it and you can move forward. I've been doing this a long time. 16 total years. Five years that it take me to get solid on 11 years have I been low fat roll B and grown stronger every day. So here's the thing, the stretch marks. Hydration, lots of red, orange, yellow, veggies, fruits, greens, right? Phytonutrients for the win. And until those go away, and if they never go away, love yourself for why the heck you have those. You know why I had them? Because my body fell into dis-ease. It wasn't at ease anymore. Now it is. And my body expanded and grew and it was trying to hold toxins away and it was storing those and it didn't know what to do and it was chaos. And my skin expanded so fast that it... And when I see that occasionally, I don't mind. Because without the low, you can't enjoy the high. Without the rain, you can't feel the sun, right? Without the pain, you can't have empathy for other people. And that's what it's about. At the end of the day, love is all that matters, right? My mom says, Tanya, you know, your hair, why is it so, why is it curly? Why is it frizzy? Smooth it out. Why? Because this is what it is, and I love it for what it is. Because before that, it was straight, and when I was sick, it fell out, and I had none. I had a third of my hair. 
but when it came back in, it came back in wavy and it's curlier every year and I love it for what it is and I love me for what I am. Perfectly imperfect, right? Hey Lori, how are you? Advice on some cravings, who said that? Lauren or Laura, it's got on there. Um, I have a video called Starve the Cravings. Here's the thing, people have an addiction, a low grade addiction to chemicals and what we call food that are toys. They're a recreational activity of your slow than mass destruction. So yeah, cravings are real. I get it. The sooner you get off those, if you're a heroin addict and you celebrate on the weekend, your week long of not having heroin and you have a cheat day and you recirculate heroin through your body, your body may be saying, oh, if only I had this drug, is that what your body needs? No, addictions are noisy. They're the devil inside. The sooner you can open the door and let that out and slam the door, you know what you might hear? Don't open the door. It'll eventually go away. But every time you open the door, even a crack, it seeps in. Just like a smoker, drinker, druggy, food, addicted person that's real let's have some of this dressing shall we hold please i had some music for y'all too i just want you to say um i don't typically and used to never use flax seeds in my dressing like that but now i like to and if you were going to make like a tomato sauce or something, it really, because it has a gelatinous situation and a very like savory, like earthy kind of undertone to it. You add that with some Roma tomatoes, some regular tomatoes, black cream tomatoes, baby, and you add in some soap, they're drying some um, sun-dried tomatoes, oil and salt free, and a little bit of dates, um, apricots, a little bit of celery, a little seaweed, and your flax seeds, and you've got a great tomato sauce. Um, but look, I mean, look at how, do y'all see how delicious? Mm -hmm. Do y'all want to buy it? Look at that. These are all wet. These tomatoes are all wet, but you see the stickability? Do you see? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember this too when we're on live? Let me just mention this again. When we're on live, it brings people to the channel that don't normally watch because it's just live feed that pops up in a lot of people's YouTube feed. And we are inviting people that never come to the house of love and light. So let's be gracious. And I'm really not gonna mind if they wipe their feet. I would prefer they did, but if they bring dirt in, I don't mind. I'll just not notice. And when they're gone, I'll sweep it out. So understand that too, when people disagree with your diet and disagree with your lifestyle. They're usually coming from a fear-based mentality that they don't want to change, thus they don't understand uplifting other people. It's an ego problem, right? So let's understand that and let's always, when, when there are 20, 40, 60, 160 positive comments, may we not focus any energy on negative. May we only show love. And may we remember, people that spew hate are the ones that need loving the most. So, I love you. Focusing on love. Hello, Rochelle. How are you, beautiful? Would you like a bite? So tonight, so the, the, um, that's all my talk. I'm going to talk about this minute. Mm. Oh my gosh. Y'all. This one, let me show you this one. Hold on, please. I only have two hands and I could pop you up somewhere, but I didn't and so go with it, you know what I mean? But look at this. Mm -hmm. 
Come on, Tanya. Mm. Oh my gosh. This one is epic. And it's, um, it was red bell pepper. Mm. Anyway, tonight, red bell pepper. I think it had a little bit of tomatoes, dates, um, flax seeds, apple cider vinegar, and dolls. But anyway, um, I'm going over to Jason's Daily and I'll meet my friend Jen there tonight. And um, it's going to be a meeting of love and light. It's one of y'all that I met here and y'all are real. You know, it doesn't seem like that sometimes. And, um, and I tell Christopher sometimes, you know, it feels like I'm speaking to the world or with the world, but there's no, um, there's nobody to touch. You know what I mean? There's nobody to hug, but she will be somebody too. Isn't that beautiful? And, um, and we have to remember that sometimes when you shine your light, you have to beam out far and wide to catch the shiny reflection somewhere shining back to you, right? Anyway, so I had a little song for y'all. Y'all want to talk about anything else? Mickey, I'm excited too. I have some videos on what hair care products I use. Who's asking me that? Is that Nan? I can't really see. These comments are so light. It's almost like you, it's, there, it's almost like they're not there. But anyway, um, I use Shea Butter Shampoo and Conditioner. I typically use um, just coconut oil to, my hair, y'all, I went to the gym this morning fixing to redo it because I'm going out to dinner and Jen is a hairdresser and she is very refined and I'm just, you know, I don't know, perfectly imperfect. I'm just what I am. I said, don't expect me to be cute. And she said, I love you just like you are. And I said, good. Anyway, so um, then sometimes I use the Curl Cluster, the Souffle, which is more like a little um, a fluffy gel kind of, but not sticky. I mean, as you see, like my hair, like it's just not stiff at all. You see, I know you're thinking that wire mess. Look, I didn't, I wasn't here to do a hair tutorial, okay? <laughs> anyway, but sometimes I use that if it's real humid or sticky here. It kind of keeps the curls uh, molded, you know. And I, yeah, that's what I do. So anyway, I love y'all. I'm going to be enjoying some John Travolta. You know, I don't know what it is about him, but he just makes my heart race. I swear. I know what y'all are going to say. He was in the news. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about old school John. You know what I mean? I'm talking about some urban cowboy. I'm talking about some Grease. Show me some John Travolta, would you? Isn't that funny? Old school John Travolta. I sure do love y'all, and I appreciate you coming over. Now, I'm going to call and harass this air conditioning people because they said he was coming at 1, and it's like, it's like 4 o'clock. You appreciate me. Thank you. That's really nice. I may have like a raw meetup again. I had one of those before, and that's where I met Rochelle, and we met in Columbia, didn't we, girl? And it was, it was an epic day. I was so nervous that day. That was the first time I've ever done that. I was like nervous. My teeth were chattering. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.